ladies and gentlemen, it is General Green. It has been a wild week. It is Thursday, March 28, 2024. I want to wish a happy birthday week to my father, John. I love you. God bless you, Papa John. Thousand freaking X to the moon and beyond. Like this video just for that. My dad is an amazing guy, and he's having a great birthday week. I'll be uh, putting up probably some pictures on X. Make sure to follow me at AMTV Media, as well as more golfing rounds and property tours in the next few days. So check that out. But let's talk about what's going on in the markets today, because as hyperinflation continues in the United States of America and worldwide, the Dow Jones Industrial Average and U.S. stock markets post a new record all-time Hi. Again, you should be catching a trend here. Everything is breaking records that isn't tied to fiat. Fiat is collapsing. The Western Empire is ceasing. The petrodollar is ending. And this is moving to new technology, blockchain, tokenization, and of course, Bitcoin, which is also breaking new all-time highs. Remember, I said 66,666 was the bottom. And even though we floated around there for a couple of days, my point was proven because Bitcoin is now trading above 70,000 as of right now at 2.11 p.m. West Coast time. But let's talk about what's going on because we had very bullish news today with the fraud and the scam artist FTX founder who was always an inside deep state plant working for the Democrats. He was the second largest donor to the Democratic Party outside of George Soros. And I never recommended FTX. I always told you it was a scam. I told you he was a deep state asset and to avoid it. And I was right about that as well. He's now been sentenced to 25 years and it's very good news for the industry. Why did they do this? Why did the insiders set up Sam Bankman Freed and his downfall intentionally just several years ago? Well, very easy to understand why they wanted your Bitcoin. They wanted to steal your bags, which is what I told you. And also, it gave them the footprint for the regulation that they wanted to then give the large institutionalized funds like BlackRock that own the entire world carte blanche victory over the entire space to then begin tokenizing themselves, moving in with their ETF, etc. And now recently launching a tokenized asset fund on the Ethereum blockchain, which is valued about $100 million. I'll we'll talk about a lot more of that here in a minute. But I wanted to point out, I believe this is very, very bullish because now that that's over and there's finality to the scam, which we always knew it was, again, I told you that the bottom was when he was put in handcuffs. I told you to buy Bitcoin at 16666 I was throwing chairs in the pool. I said that was the bottom, and I was proven correct about that. Bitcoin has traded almost as high, I believe, as 74000 since that prediction in December, what was it, 2022, I remember, because I was on crutches. I said the video would be famous. I shot it with my son, Austin, and it's proven to be famous. I have it pinned on X, and you would have made a ton of money if you would have taken that advice, which I have to say is not financial advice, but again, is the advice from the general, who keeps getting it right over and over and over and over again. And those are facts here at islandproject.com. But I also want to talk about this Baltimore Bridge disaster. And kind of what I'm thinking here, I just wanted to mention, if you didn't know, there's a lot of strange anomalies here. I already gave you my opinion on that. I did a whole broadcast with Donut, my good friend on his platform. That video went viral. I gave my opinion. So if you want to watch that, just go to Donut, watch it. Or watch my previous videos that I've now archived on Rumble if you want all of my contents pretty free over there. So go check that out and subscribe to me at AMTV Media or look for Christopher Green. But I find it really interesting that this Baltimore disaster, not only with the crazy, terrible cost of human life, but the economic costs are very damaging. And I've been over this bridge before many, many times when I lived in Washington, DC. Many of you know that I went to school there at George Washington University back in the day. I played water polo division one. I was an All-American uh, in high school. But what I find crazy about it, not only was it predicted in the end of the world movie produced by the Obamas in their Leave the World Behind, where they have an actual ship approaching the beach, a cargo ship approaching 
losing control, obviously via some kind of cyber attack or loss of power, which is they're saying it's just simply a loss of power here, but also that there is a lot of strange occurrences with it. Now, Salvador Dali's very famous work, this is his artwork, The Broken Bridge and the Dream, depicts an actual broken bridge in this stunning piece of art as I reload my screen. And what was the boat's name? The cargo ship, the Singaporean cargo ship that crashed into the Baltimore Bridge? Dolly, which I'll show you in a minute. And so Salvador Dolly depicts a bridge that has collapsed with individuals in almost a romance, fanciful type way, almost looking to the heavens and being drawn up into the sky. Now, I'd be curious your opinion on this, but I just wanted to point this out that I don't think this is a coincidence, and I think this is very too specific for it to be an accident. And one of my subscribers pointed this out on YouTube. I'll blow this up on the screen. screen. This was a user who said, I believe the power of the ship Dolly was overridden remotely. Besides the star-spangled banner significance, when we look up Salvador Dolly in 1945, he painted the broken bridge and the dream. In his dream, the ruined bridge transforms into a stairway upon which allegorical figures drift upwards towards heaven. I take this as the rapture of the church comes sometime after this event. Shalom. And I just found that very interesting. So very, kudos to you. It's almost like a stairway to heaven. And for those of you that don't know, the bridge was called the Francis Scott Key Bridge. And what is Francis Scott Key most known for? Well, riding the Star Spangled Banner. Which again begs the question, is this an allegory that just played out in real life depicting the collapse of America? The collapse of the Star Spangled Banner and the Stairway to Heaven that Salvador Dali, the exact name of the ship, depicts in that beautiful piece of art that I just showed you? Or is it just a coincidence? I think not. Again, the attack that happened tragically in Russia was on 322, as well as the Cape Middleton video that I believe, in my opinion, was a fake, which again is skull and bones and very much a cult. They tell you what's going to happen before it does. Now they're rolling out deep fakes 24-7. It's very difficult to understand what is AI, what isn't AI, and they're mudding the water with all this propaganda in the hearts and minds of the westernized world for a very specific reason. Here we have footage. You can see the boat, Dolly right there. Dolly, right there. So again, where am I going with this? And more importantly, what happens next? Well, the wealth of the 1% just hit a record, $44 trillion. In fact, the wealthiest elite worldwide since 2020, a very specific year because we all know what happened then, have grown their wealth and asset bases more than they ever have in civilization's history. And I want you to think about this for a moment. Real estate values skyrocketed. Stock market skyrocketed. The bailouts skyrocketed. Hyperinflation skyrocketed. The US dollar has collapsed 30%. Those are the real shadow stats. If you had a dollar in 2020, it's now worth 70 cents. But if you compare it to real assets like real estate, islandproject.com, it's even worse. It's been a 3x your money in a real asset like this at islandproject.com versus a collapse of just, well, an amazing 30% in the US dollar. So here's my point. As I've been saying for a very long time, this was a power grab. This was a wealth grab. This was how they were going to reorganize the world during World War III, move all the assets, transfer all of that wealth, reset the system, move BlackRock into these assets, start gobbling up Bitcoin and crypto, which I always told you early, under 1,000 to buy Bitcoin, that this was the future of technology, the money supply, and the system basically that they were building of the future. Now, again, you know I'm in real estate. It's the number one thing that I do with Island Project, first fractional real estate opportunity in the world, islandproject.com, which gives you the opportunity in Robin Hood fashion to own the best properties at a fraction of the cost with no bank debt because the banks are collapsing. New York City Bank, for example, is on its way to zero. Credit Suisse collapsed to zero. It had to be acquired. FTX collapsed to zero. Silvergate, Silicon Valley, the list goes on and on. Citizen Bank as well. But now this, nearly half of all homes 
flipped, but also I know this personally, half of all homes now being bought in the United States of America, here goes the American dream out the window, isn't first time home buyers, isn't regular Americans that make a good wage or have good employment. It's not even necessarily the wealthy. In some cases, it's private equity. So here's what I mean by this. Large corporations are now buying over 50, near 50% of all single family home purchases in the United States of America. 50 freaking percent. So you can just kiss the American dream goodbye. And again, I told you this before in 2020, when they told you, because they always tell you, that you will own nothing and be happy, that you would own nothing and be happy. And corporations would move in, start buying all the property, destroy your lives, destroy your wealth. Then they'd move to tokenize everything, which is what Island Project does, buy and for the people. See, we're the good guys. We're not the bad guys, guys. We're the good guys. We're allowing you to buy the best real estate in the world at a fraction of the cost with no bank debt, then tokenizing at 1,000x on a world-class blockchain. A simple 30,000 minimum investment, I believe, is going to go 1,000x. Read my terms and disclaimers. Again, can't guarantee future performance. It's not financial advice, but it's exactly what I'm going to freaking do here at islandproject.com because of this. And so I really want to show you where this is all going because, of course, I've known this for a very long time. Jeff Bezos is moving in. Um, he's funded, I think, near $100 million now into buying properties in middle America through a company called Arrived. So they're all also fractionalizing real estate. People always think, Christopher, you're crazy. You're so ahead of the curve. It's so wild what you're doing. That'll never happen. Well, I'm ahead of Jeff Bezos and we're ahead of BlackRock because BlackRock also announced a new $100 million tokenized asset fund. And you know what they're going to tokenize? Real estate. And you know what they're buying? Single family homes. And you know what their goal is? To buy every home in America. Just like I'm pointing out with this Washington Times article here that even flipped homes, single family homes, home purchases are near 50% private equity. Now, of course, I know this firsthand here in Maui Boo because all deals are cash, including the cash deals that we've done. We've deployed over $11 million, soon to be $12 million, soon to be actually $15, $16 million very, very soon of our $33.5 million fund, buying for the people. I want to welcome aboard all of our new members, by the way. God bless y'all. I'll read some names here probably in a minute. But all the deals are cash, and there's a lot of private equity moving in, which is why you'll never own this stuff unless you invest with us. So for more information on all of our world-class properties, visit us at islandproject.com by clicking the link below and filling out a quick five-minute application for your first 30 units or more. You can fund directly through Portal. If you have any questions, call Papa John, my dad, at 808-442-2934. See our amazing inventory and become an instant owner today before more problems come, which I'm going to show you here in a minute because... Not only are we being warned by state officials and the authorities to urge for preparedness across the United States for a solar eclipse, it's only going to last four minutes. They've never done this in the history of the world. You got to ask why. Is this a test run for Marshall LAW in the future? Kind of seems like it, especially during an election year. And why are they telling people to get food and water when the sun's only going to be dark for several minutes? I mean, they must think we're dumb or something. But in addition to that, I just noted this, noticed this. I wanted to point this out. I find this extremely alarming. But every single day I keep my eye on New York City Bank. Every single day, because this is the next bank to collapse to zero. And I believe it's going to create a systemic bank run with the large, huge financial institutions, the too big to fails, like Citigroup, which just fired 20% of its employees or near that, J.P. Morgan Chase, God forbid, Wells Fargo, and the other large major banks that a lot of people think are too big to fail, but I think are going down very soon in bank runs and capital controls, something I've warned about for a very long time. But I'm sure you're seeing what I'm seeing, 3 two, 2 Yeah, guys, this isn't good, and this is a sign right here. 3 2, two. Three, two, two. another occult symbol. This is a giant warning that New York City Community Bank is signifying, in my opinion, in my heart of hearts, a systemic banking collapse during hyperinflation in the United States. Get your money out of the banks now. This is going to be 
bad. We will see stocks collapse in the United States of America. You need to get your money into hard assets today, into real assets like Island Project. Don't be in fear. Just have the peace of mind that you're, number one, investing in a world-class team. Then number two, you have your money in a real asset with no bank debt. Number three, you're creating income for yourself, large capital gains potential, and we're 1,000x tokenizing on our world-class blockchain. I've also opened up some international diversification. I'll be taking you guys on a trip to Thailand later this year. I will be investing in Thailand Booya, as well as other locations like Park City, Utah, as we decentralize and diversify this amazing portfolio of the digital Noah's art. Please like and share this video. I want to hear what you think. Comment or question in the box below. Tell me what you're doing now to protect your real wealth, your skills, and your mindset. And Make sure to protect your joy. And of course, go to God, number one. We're here to save souls. Ladies and gentlemen, Jesus Christ is king. But I really want to hear from you because I don't believe we have enough time left to prepare uh, for what we're doing here at the Digital Noah's Ark. Links below, that's islandproject.com. Read our terms, get in now, click the membership tab, and fill out for your first 30 units or more today before it's too late, before the stampede to the exits, before New York City Bank goes to zero, before a World War III event where the solar eclipse brings down the grid like they're also a warning that we should all be prepared for, or the worst case scenarios that the Obamas have produced in their movie, Leave the World Behind, which now seem to be playing out with the Dolly cargo ship blasting in with a direct hit to the Baltimore Bridge, and further supply disruptions, and the war in Ukraine, and the war in Israel, and Gaza. Guys, it's only getting worse, and I know as believers especially, all of you tuning in, we, we know what to do. We realize a storm is coming, just like Noah. So be Noah, get in, I love you, have a blessed rest of the day, and happy birthday to my father, Papa John. I love you, and my hat is literally off to you and the entire team at islandproject.com. Links up here and down here, up here and down here. That was